Cloverfield was relatively unique when it was released in 2008 as the first big budget found footage movie. The story follows a group of friends after a kaiju style monster attacks New York and interrupts their party. The movie was produced by J.J. Abrams, written by Drew Goddard, and directed by Matt Reeves. As with many Abrams projects, there's a lot of intrigue and hype leading up to the film's premiere due to its incredibly effective viral marketing campaign and mysterious trailers. The found footage presentation can be problematic if you experience motion sickness easily, but it does present a perspective of a monster attack that you don't typically get to see. There are also some small technical gripes, such as the opening title stating the footage was recovered from an SD card and not a tape, despite the rewinding and recording over of footage being a significant technique used during the movie. But overall, the found footage aspect of the story is not simply a novelty, as it tells a smaller scale story in the middle of a huge scale monster attack. It'll be fine. The monster design is unique, and whenever it shows up in relatively limited glimpses, it is rather intimidating and makes you fear for the characters on screen. We get a little backstory on the leads before things get crazy, and although you don't get much development due to the action and found footage format, all the performances help sell what you're seeing on screen. Overall, Cloverfield is worth revisiting and an example of found footage done right. The effects and unique take on the kaiju style monster movie tropes were refreshing at the time and came years before Pacific Rim and the blockbuster relaunch of Godzilla in America. There are enough Easter eggs and story bits left open that there is still fan speculation about the monster and its origin to this day.